everybody and welcome back to the series of Iron Man every single Fire Emblem game. Today we are continuing our journey through Fire Emblem 5, Thracia 776. We are going to be starting the Master Escape, which should be uh, very exciting. And my computer is struggling as it is wont to do. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll smooth itself out. Now, um, we, yeah, as I said, we got to the Master Escape last time, so now we will be starting it. Chapter 4, Imprisoned. Um, I am streaming at a bit of an odd time, but I wanted to play some Fire Emblem today, so here we are. Anyways, now in Radrix's clutches, Leaf was detained and taken to Mansur by Imperial soldiers. His imprisonment bore a certain irony. Mansur was once the sovereign land of House Leinster. It was now governed by House Frege, who had personally been installed by uh, as rulers by the Emperor of Granvale after his conquest of North Thracia. <laughs> some, some, some real shit. What's up, Hollow? <laughs> Hope you've been well, man. Uh, Radric himself had once been a general of the Kingdom of Connaught, but colluded with the Empire during the war. 3 a.m. for you. Wow. Goddamn. Oh, you're in... Where are you again, Hollow? Are you in England? I can't remember now. So I feel like it's been so long. For the ser uh, for that service, he was uh, made Baron of Manster. Uh, While well, still subordinate to Lord Bloom, head of House Frege, Radric was entrusted with the day-to-day -day management of Man Manster. Well, that's yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, back in Asia, huh? Yeah, very different, very different time zone. <laughs> Well, I hope I can, uh, if you're up, I can entertain you with some, uh, some Thracia, if you're interested. Uh, Leaf would now see firsthand what life was like in his family's former home. Um, yeah, so the, the Master Escape portion of this game is when this game becomes very real, so... Hopefully we can get through this without too much issue. This first chapter in particular can be very sketchy, but, uh... Ha ha ha, without a doubt, this feat will secure my position in Man Manster and beyond. Dulcian, see that the brat doesn't so much as blink before the Knights of Connaught come to claim him. Aye, sir. It's high time to celebrate with a visit to the arena. So, 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 my, uh, that's like my new addiction so far, OST story, gameplay, where peak. Yeah, I really like uh, Thracia. I'm not as familiar with the story. That That's actually something... Um, so I've been doing a series on YouTube where I um, Iron Man all the games and we've been reading through the stories, which is obviously something I don't normally do on stream. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to learn more about the story, but I I'm a big fan of the Thracia OST and the uh, the gameplay. There's dumb things that happen in the game that throw people off. Yeah, I think Thracia is just, it's it's got so many like different mechanics from any other Fire Emblem game. And it's also like, I think it's the most brutal or the most like unforgiving game. Like, there are chapters where if you don't have, like, a door key, or if you lost your thief, you know, you just lose. Like, straight up. Which, you know, might not be the most fun thing in the world, but it does make it a lot more, uh, interesting. You a woman, you'll be accompanying me. Why me? I assumed you would, uh, want to see the other girls, but if you wish to spit on my generosity... Other girls, you mean Marita and Nana? I believe those are their names, yes. Never fear. I haven't laid a finger on them. I've been keeping them quite comfortable. Are you really? So something that I'm a little bit nervous about, by the way, and so last time, before we, before you go to the Manster Escape, it's a really good idea to outfit everybody, um, depending on like when you're going to be recruiting them again. Now with Evol, I took away all of her weapons because we're not going to be re-recruiting her until the very end of the game, even if we do. But I can't remember if she gets a sword in Chapter Five or whatever it is. So there's a chance that she won't have any weapons, which I'm a little bit nervous about. So we'll see. We'll see how that, I don't quite remember um, uh, how that works, but yeah. If she doesn't have a weapon, I mean, we can still make it work, but it's a little, uh, a little sketch. Such an early game map. Is it the one with, uh, with, um, is it the one with Dogdar? The, like, Castle Voldrake, or, or no, it's not a castle, but whatever it's called. 
that cha that chapter is pretty good. I just hate the the like requirement to get to it. Capturing that that Draco Knight in the chapter eight is such a pain in the ass, honestly. Uh, are you really gonna let me see them? Give my word. Fine, lead the way. Ah, how old fashioned, leading the way for such a fine lady. <laughs> Those inventory at the end of uh, three is auto removed to the convoy, and she's an iron blade in five. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just I was doing everything so fast, and I just assumed, and then I was like, oh, this might be really bad. But no, that's really good. Okay, we should be fine then. Uh, this is it. Asbel and I will locate the children, but I want the rest of you to go down to the prison and free everyone locked up there. Right, and you're in charge. Yes, sir. Once we release those poor souls, we'll rendezvous, rendezvous with you. God's willing, we'll all meet again. Fortune be with you. And we get a completely new cast of characters. Well, minus Lifus and Leaf again, but... We're counting on you, Laura. Think you can handle this? Uh-huh. No lock is going to stand in my way. Just watch my back, okay? Even if someone were to get past us, uh, you could grab their weapons. No problem. Not if they're too heavy, I can't. And be glad me and old Brighton here are here, huh? Come on, let's go. Dog Dern, okay, that is the one with Dog Dern Gomez. I remember Gomez being like a pretty ridiculous boss on that chapter, but yeah, that, ch that chapter's all right. Okay, so we get a bunch of new characters. We get Laura. So it's really funny. I feel like this is also really unique in like Fire Emblem, but there is, there's a character with zero strength. Obviously Marty has zero speed and skill, uh, but yeah, Laura's great because she's a thief and then can become a dancer. Although I think I've failed to make her a dancer on like every one of our Iron Man playthroughs because I always mess up that chapter, but it's really funny. She has three attack. Three attack. I'm pretty sure she can't deal any damage to anyone. Oh no, she can actually. Only one defense. This guy's got three. Um, but yeah, and then we have Brighton, who is kind of funny, has a steel axe. Is uh fairly weak, but does have wrath, which is obviously a really powerful skill. And then uh Maka or Makua. Um, there's a chess key, which is pretty nice. She has vantage. So the key to this chapter, well, for one thing, we're going to want to open all these chests because all the items that we had on Leaf, who obviously has nothing, and Lifus, who also has nothing, um, are in these chests. So we want to, we want to get those. We also want to free all of these citizens and get them to escape because that's how we get the guidance chapter, which is really important because there's an extremely valuable character on that guidance chapter that we desperately want to recruit. Um, but you have Wrath, so why don't we do this? Sure, and then Mach will go here. Now, this is also a chapter, I've been mentioning this a bunch, where you can actually abuse enemies capturing quite a bit. Um, so we're gonna be doing that a little bit. Let me get so far. Yeah, Gomez has a lot of constitution, huh? She can... Oh, so she can... I guess I never thought about that. So she can promote to rogue and then demote to dancer. That's interesting. See stat reductions and gains over and over. That's so bizarre. That's really fun. I, I never thought about that. I've never gotten into a rogue before, I don't think, ever. I think one time I did make her, like, really busted because I thought it was funny. Because obviously, like... With scrolls, you can do whatever you want in this game, but yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay, Lifus, just go here. So we also get Fergus, who is a pretty solid unit that we're going to be using quite a bit. And then Karen, who is also a pretty solid unit, but is mostly just going to be capture fodder for us to try to help out our combat on these chapters. Obviously, like, damn it, ah, Lady Luck is so fickle. Hey, hold on, you're that Lifus, uh, Lifus fellow, ain't you? Weren't you the boss for a whole crew of pirates or something on the Corsair Isles, right? Hmm, uh, yeah, but... Thought so, huh? Uh, you look just like the guy in all them wanted posters. Isn't that something? Guess I'm famous. Hmm, maybe I can make use of these idiots. <laughs> what, did I say something wrong? You got that look on your face. Truth be told, I'm fixing to bust my way out of here. What, you can pull something like that off? Think about it, genius. Once my crew knows I'm locked up here, what do you think they'll do? Not waltz up and ask nice for the Empire to let me go. That's for sure. In fact, I'll bet the boys are scoping this place out right now. So since I'll be uh, saying goodbye to the rest of you before long, let's make them... Uh, let's make nice for them now, huh? Really? You gotta take me with you, boss. 
Hmm. Well, if you can pull your own weight, I'll think about it. You mean a boss? Leave it to me. Ain't no soldier gonna stand in our way, that's for sure. Lifus, uh, sir, if that's true, let me come along too. Me three! <laughs> Played like a fiddle, all three of them. After we're bust out, I'll have a whole new opportunity on my hands. Jinko, you're indeed streaming. I am, Matanga. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, I figured on uh, on weekends I'll do pretty odd-ended times when I uh, feel like streaming, but I'm glad you're here. Fishing, oh God, Gomez, the meme. To even capture Gomez. Yeah, I remember his stats in general being pretty ridiculous, but also his uh, constitution being quite high, so. Sure's at 15. Below hit rates. Yeah, it's gotta be really hard to do with Marty. That is true though. I guess you do have Marty. Um, for uh, for that, but yeah, that's got to be extremely difficult to capture Gomez. Like it's hard to kill Gomez in general, um, so to do it with that, like by capturing, it's got to be really hard. Uh, Foker uh, getting real lively all of a sudden. So what are you in for, kid? And you are Fergus the Cell Sword at your service. And I'm this close to being done with Junk Draw. Let me tell you. Saw a bunch of soldiers making trouble for a young lass, so I stepped in. Got arrested for the effort. Terrible story, really. Show those cards actually. Those wanted posters. Hides a dagger. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cypher cards do go hard. You know, it's it's actually funny you guys are talking about that. I just looked up. So I love the cypher cards. I think they're super dope. I think most people do because the art's so cool. And I always thought like, well, it's a Japanese thing. Like it's impossible to get here. You know, where I am in the states. Um, but on Amazon, you can just order like some intro decks of the cypher cards. Or some like booster packs, and I'm, I I kind of want to do it honestly. They're so cool. You just bought some recently, yeah. They're they're super cool. I kind of want to get some. Oh please, you didn't just try to stop them. You beat them half to death. That's a terrible story here. But that's a terrible story here. Wait just a damn minute. You were the one who started it. Yeah, and they arrested me because they thought I I helped you nearly kill that guy. This is on you, not me. So what are you gonna do about it? I'm going to take a nap, that's what. Hey, you got to learn to take the good with the bad, you know? Just wake me up when it's meal time. Oh, I don't even care anymore. Uh, sorry, I'm Karen, by the way. Karen, that's an unusual name for a Thracian. Does she look like a Thracian? Leaf, what the hell? That's because I'm not Thracian, I'm from Salise. I guess Leaf wouldn't really know what Salise is, to be honest, but... I just gotten into town when I got in trouble thanks to this dimwit. Salise, that's uh, far north of here, if memory serves. Why come all the way here from Salise? Our prince up and left their country, that's why. The queen passed away and the... Man, they love this whole, the Prince of Selyse leaves and then a Pegasus Knight goes and like pursues them. It's exactly what happens with Aaron and uh, Lewin and Genealogy. The queen passed away. Uh, that's actually... And then that's what happens with um, uh, Fury and uh, Sed in the second generation of Genealogy. The queen passed away and the princess is too young to take the throne, so people don't uh, know who to turn to. I came here to look for our little runaway prince. I heard that the kingdom of Salise has been overthrown by the Empire. How is it the royal family is still alive? The rebels have been keeping them safe. Everyone still willing to fight has gathered in the city of Thove, where they've railed uh, around the, they've rallied around the royal family. Me, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna become a Pegasus Knight and lend my lance. Impressive! If you become a Pegasus Knight, you'll be able to dance through the skies. Well, I can already fly, but I won't be doing aerial acrobatics like a knight anytime soon. Still, my Pegasus and me can already understand each other really well. His name's Hermes, and he's just the cutest thing that you ever saw, with a brain to match. He's probably the one dancing through the skies right now, looking for me, that is. So why did the prince leave Salise in the first place? It's a long story, the prince wanted to go look for the king, but the king's something of a flake himself. He also left Salise many years ago, abandoning his kingdom and family both. Everybody feels betrayed, and nobody expects the king to come back anymore. You know, I understand that Lewin is like the manifestation of Holseti or Forseti or whatever, but man, he uh, he could have told somebody what was going on. So many people looking for him. So we want Prince Sed to come back instead and take the throne. I was sent here to find him, but ended up jailed because uh, of this mutton head. <laughs> mm, what about mutton? Is it meal time already? Uh, I guess not. Can't you keep it down then at least? 
This is a prison for crying out loud. It's not like anyone can escape all your yammering. And it's not like uh, anyone can escape your loud snoring either. Honestly, how can you sleep at a time like this? You're the most boorish, insensitive. Hey, keep it down, you twits. See, even the Empire agrees with me. <laughs> What's eating you, lad? You look awful upset. Might as well speak your mind, eh? Uh, not like it could do any harm now. You're right. In fact, maybe you two can even help me. Do you want to fight the Empire for me? <laughs> yeah, the music in this game is super dope. I know uh, Hollow was talking about the OST. It's really good. The, the music in Genealogy is really good, too. I like it a lot. It's an alarm clock beeping, but that's okay. Evercrude theme is better than FE4. I don't really remember FE4 that well, but yeah, it, it's definitely good in, in this game. It's cool. FE7s, yeah. The like the like GBA recruit theme, the that theme, I think we're probably thinking of the same one. Oh, it goes so hard, dude. I love it. I love that one. Never rule the goddamn country, right? Exactly. Dude, they're never. It's just, I feel like the, the like, such big plot points of both these games are the Cilician uh, princes just up and leaving the country. Boss, boss, the door's opening. It's happening just like you said it would. What's the matter? Your crew's coming for you. Don't that perk you up? Uh, Lady Luck really is fickle. Somebody actually did come. Well, uh, let it ever be said that lying through your teeth doesn't work. It's a good life lesson. Uh, okay, let's... Fight this guy. So the plan and the general strategy that I have for this chapter, um, we probably want to rescue them first. Yeah, so let's go this way. Is okay. Well, that's <laughs> Livis. I don't think you can steal. Can you get captured? Actually, nine. Yeah, actually. Okay. So we're gonna show off uh, one of the strategies that you can use a lot in this chapter, which is allowing the enemy to capture you. So. If you have items, they take them, which can be a pain. But if you don't have items, which most units don't, um, you can just basically reduce the enemy stat by letting them uh, capture you. Hey, yo, right over there, old lady. Don't you fret about me. Uh, I don't have much time left on this earth anyhow. It's me grandchildren I'm worried about. Hack, hack, wheeze. <laughs> hey, don't overdo it, lady. Look, just lie down, all right? Sheesh, the Empire even locks up sick old grandmas now. Looks like it. How long are they going to get to throw their weight around, doing whatever they please? You reckon the Magi folk have a chance of taking the Empire down? I don't know, maybe. I mean, they've got to have a chance, uh, right? And even if, they, if they've if they got a chance, we've got to believe in them. Their leaders are said they call him the Hero of the Winds. Yeah, and he's earned that name. For he showed up, the Magi uh, had been all but wiped out by the Empire. Then he showed up and just look at how the Ma uh, just look at how the Magi are doing now. The Empire keeps trying to grab hold of them, but they just keep looking out. More than luck, maybe. That's why Sir Sed's a man worth believing in. Can't go wrong with a fellow like that. Plus, he has uh, Force Eddie. Honestly, if Sed... Like, Sed could just walk up to literally anyone and kill them. To try soft lock myself out into Chapter 6. Soft locking in Fire Emblem 5 is, uh, is a classic combination. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. My, um... My previous two attempts at this game failed. One of them on the final chapter, that was the second attempt, which really sucked. And then the first one failed on the Xavier chapter, which is maybe 15-ish, I'm not sure. So we've had some success, but never um, never finished the game. So I'm excited to, uh, to maybe finish it. We'll see. Sick. Okay, I was about to say sick 90% miss, but then we hit a crit, so that's nice. Um... Laura, do you want to kill? I mean, I don't know how useful it is to get Laura a kill, but it's kind of funny, so... She deals two damage. It's good enough for me. So basically, the way we want to handle this chapter is... Um, to basically go around in a circle. So we're going to want to rescue Leaf, uh, Karen, and, and Fergus. And we're also going to want to start opening up chests, because we want to get swords and weapons for them as quickly as we can. Um, and then also, obviously, we want to... And you can use these brigands as pretty good distractions, which is really nice. They'll they'll hold their own for a while. 
In fact, they're usually alive even, even toward the end of the chapter, but... So let's open up this. Well, well, hey Prince, uh, somebody's come to rescue us. Come on, let's make a break for it. Who in the world are they? Does it matter to save those questions for uh, when we're far, far away from here? Look, there's a stairway, stairway to the north that leads out of here. Uh, you go ahead, I'll give them soldiers what for if they try to follow. What happens to you if I escape first? Mm, I expect I'll get caught and thrown in here, here again, or worse. Don't matter to me none if I can get some, uh, if I can get him some good before I grab, wait, if I can do some good before I get grabbed, can't read. I won't accept that. I'll only escape uh, after everyone else has. Hi, you're gonna make me cry, Junior. Suppose I need to, suppose I can keep you company for a time if you need someone to hold your hand that bad. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? After hearing your story, I'm invested. And you're a more decent sort than you look, Fergus. Fun from me already, eh? Oh, please, if you think that, uh, you must still be half asleep. Haven't had your morning coffee yet, Grandpa. All right, all right, lay off. But have you made uh, made up your own mind about escaping? The Magi's head honcho is a fellow by the name of Sed. Same name as the prince you're after, right? It's probably him, yeah. But right now, Prince Leaf is the one we need to worry about. And besides, the coward Raedric is using women as hostages. That's unforgivable. Any plan that gives me the chance to smash his face is fine by me. Yeah, this music goes hard, by the way. <laughs> Uh, you got the skill with the blade to back up them words last. Uh, I won't pretend I'm the best, but I'll give it my all. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> ah, sheesh. That's two kids I gotta look after now. Three, what about the young woman that just opened the door? You gotta look after her, too. There's me with the magic ring so we can one round with the ranged light brand. That's interesting. I don't know, like, what breakpoints I guess that deals with, but that could be really good. Um, I don't know when you, when do you, do you get the ma magic, uh, the magic, the magic ring here? I mean, I've already given him the HP ring, the speed ring, and the defense ring. So what's giving him the magic ring to, you know? <laughs> Although, don't you want to give the magic ring to Asbel? Because there's like some stuff you can do with that. I don't really remember. Uh, can you repair broken weapons in this game? Yeah, yep. Yeah, Hollow's right. One hammer and staff, five uses, yep. Yeah, so you can you can run a, a weapon down to its uh to its barest uses and still be okay. You have two swords, right? Yeah, okay. So we can. Fergus is probably the most important one to outfit immediately. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully, I left a, a solid. Getting, I'm not. I think it's random where the stuff ends up, but getting a second lockpick as quickly as you can is really useful because you want to be opening up chests and doors and stuff really efficiently. Yeah, I know eventually Asbel will be like totally fine with magic. I just, I thought there was like some break points on the early chapters where you really wanted that magic ring, but I, I can't really remember and I think about it. All right, another iron sword is great because now we get to outfit um, him as well. Now, Karen is basically going to be our bait, so I actually don't want her to have a sword, to be honest. I apologize for this, Karen. You're a wonderful person and I'm sure it's not fun to get grabbed by Imperial soldiers over and over again, but... You're basically just going to get captured, like, 15 times in this chapter. You do have to be a little bit careful with the strat, obviously, because... Um, the enemy can... If the enemy can capture and then get away, obviously you just lose the character, which is not desirable, but... Okay, second lockpick, like I said, is great. I'm not really sure why I moved Lifus up there, to be honest. That was probably not a great play, but whatever. So now you both can have lockpicks. It's probably better to use chest keys here, but you usually don't run out. A javelin? That must be a default item. I don't remember putting a javelin on either of our units. Steel sword. Okay, steel sword's cool. Um, wow, they're actually doing a great job. I feel have I just been really lucky with spawns? Aren't soldiers supposed to be spawning? I don't think we've seen a single soldier spawn. What the hell? I think we've just been really lucky with uh, enemy spawns. Oh, it's not until turn... No, 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 this is the next chapter. Um... 
Oh, they don't start until ch until turn seven. Oh, never mind. I thought they I thought they came like immediately, but okay. Yeah, getting Fergus to be able to use the the flame sword. Does he come? I can't remember if he comes with base B and swords, or you have to give him a little bit. But it's really useful, yeah, to get him to be able to use it for sure. My uh, my leaf actually got to B, but obviously he already has the light brand, so it's not as useful so for him to be able to use it. Um, yeah, what is Fergus? Okay, so he's only C. Yeah, so we want to get him to B if we can. That would be really useful. All right, here, Karen, and I guess we'll do Leaf. Okay, very cool. <laughs> Not the most useful. And then, um, yeah, we should set up one of the things that you want to do, because you need these guys to escape. So one of the things you want to do, actually, can you use the Steel Sword? Yeah, let's make sure that Lifus has an item, because I don't want him to get captured anymore, because he would lose the lockpick. You block the entrances? Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was just about to mention. That's the uh, the strat we're going to be using because you want to you don't want the villagers to the villagers to be captured, obviously. So um, I'm going to there's an alarm clock going off in the other room. I, I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Um, so... Yeah, I'm surprised by the two hollow, actually. I feel like the brigands always wind up capturing units and then they just suck, but... They're getting kind of shit on by this uh, knight, to be, <laughs> to be fair. No, the, the brigands can die. It would be nearly impossible if the brigands had to survive. They, they all wind up dying in the end, usually. But yeah, thankfully they don't have to survive. Okay, so let's get this started. The heroes of the north have come for us. Uh, we've got ourselves a real chance now. If I remember right, there's a passage to the surface just west of here. So like you said, uh, the best strategy for this is to block the spawns, which is what we're going to be doing. And then everybody else can, I guess, and then basically we just want to cut off all the passageways to protect them. A dare to get Xavier in the member card? Yeah, well, I, I don't know if you were, I don't know if you were watching when I did this playthrough, Hollow, but the first time I Iron Man Thracia, we actually did recruit Xavier. Um, it was the only time I've ever recruited Xavier, ever attempted to do it. But it's funny because we successfully recruited him, which is pretty cool. Except that my Asbel died to the boss on that chapter. And I genuinely didn't have a single unit that could fight the boss. So I just lost straight up. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we're gonna, if we're gonna recruit Xavier and get the member card. Because that is, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. But I have done it once and it was, um, something else. Probably gonna want. I don't think this guy moves. I'm probably gonna want to wait to fight him until we get, like, the flame sword or something. Uh, let's do this, and then Brighton. You can fight. Brighton has wrath, so he can handle this guy pretty easily. We also got both of our scrolls, which is really nice. Sorry, she had thrown buffs. Yeah, I'll say. I, I was because the so the boss has the boss in the chapter has a master lance, and. I just assumed that Aswell would be able to kill him, because Aswell can kill everything. Uh, but Aswell didn't crit. Oh no, it didn't matter, because I think he attacked me. Well, either way, he could deal 25 damage, and he could double, of course, because of the master, and I had exactly 50 health, and I didn't do the math right, and I just died straight up. And then, yeah, Xavier couldn't do anything, my leaf couldn't do everything, and then the rest of the units on the chapter were like, like blade and stuff, you know? Not, not enough to kill the boss. 
So that was pretty sad, but... But yeah, that was the only time I ever recruited Xavier. Obviously, you know, as you know, that recruitment is um, pretty ridiculous. Vulnery. Ah, there's the light brand. Okay, very nice. So I'm gonna grab that. And also the Baldur Scroll, I guess. So I think this one increases just all of the growth, except magic, constitution, and move, yeah. Oh, by the way, not that it'll matter for a while, but we actually got uh, a movement increase on, I believe, Othan and Halvin, which is kind of funny. This guy shouldn't move, but I'll go here just in case he goes to capture the ci civilian. Oh, I, I got really nervous for a second because I thought there were four civilians, and I'm like, did a civilian die and I didn't notice? What the hell? But no, we're good, we're good. Does he have the... No right existing, yeah. One second. Rowan, Sarah, Salem, and Sarah. I don't know if I've recruited Salem on one of these Iron Mans, to be honest. So I've done two Iron Mans. Obviously, neither completed the game. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, Britain can take some hits. Um, and yeah, I think I, I think I've failed to recruit Salem each time. I always mess that that recruitment up. I also I don't think I've ever gone to the Fred Guidance chapter. I always mess that one up too. Twelve and I don't double. Yikes, that's unfortunate. I'm assuming you can't deal any damage. That assumption would be correct. Um, okay, I guess go down here to help out with that, and then yeah, you can just hang around here, and we'll get set up for the next. Excuse me. I remember the, I don't know if it was the last Iron Man or the Iron Man before that, but uh, Fred got, on the final turn where I was about to seize the throne, Fred got crit, a 1% crit from a Ballista on that chapter. And I was like, oh my god. It was very sad. Ooh, okay, we gotta be a little careful with Brighton here, he's not invincible. Killed the back to back chapters thanks to RNG. Yeah, that's not great. That is unfortunate. Um, okay. So Brighton needs to heal. He does not have vulner. Do you have a vulner? You do. Okay, perfect. So let's do some of that good healing. So otherwise he will be deceased. This is this chapter, as long as you can keep the soldier numbers to a relative minimum, it's not so bad, but once they start to kind of gang up, especially the javelin ones. It can get really, uh, tedious. Oh my god, I can't, I can't move him! Uh, okay, now we can kill him. Let's take care of this, uh, this armor, which will free up the brigand. I wish I could have done this a little bit earlier so that all the brigands wouldn't have died, but... They're not that useful, to be honest. So it's not that bad. As you can see, as, you know, Leaf is a fairly mediocre unit, but... His 37 health actually makes him a pretty useful unit on this, uh, this portion of the game. Um, that means I guess Maku is gonna have to be the. Ugh, okay. So it's not exactly how I wanted this to play out, but. Uh, I guess head down here. Maybe you guys will be useful. We should be able to start moving on uh, after this, obviously. Losing Asbel is like such a big hit. He's so important for boss killing in this game. Okay, guys, we don't have to hit every attack, but like our hit rate is not that bad. We need to hit some of them. I do have to kill these soldiers. 
at some point. Oh my god, we can't hit 80s, but we can get hit by 37. So, is that is that what we're what we're doing today? Yeah, you can see how, how many soldiers are kind of adding up down here. At least our brigand friend is coming to <laughs> coming to help us. We appreciate that. Um, can you get Karen out of here in particular? The problem now is as good as the Karen getting captured strategy is. If she gets captured in a in a spot like this with so many enemies, it can get really bad. Maybe I shouldn't have had Leaf do that, to be honest. Alright, whatever. She gets captured, she gets captured. So you go over here. Uh, there's like two javelin. Oh, man. 11 minus 4. So she should be able to survive. You're going to need to use a uh, vulnerary. Do, do, do. Um, I guess we just let it go. Once I get Leaf and Leaf and Brighton or Leaf and uh, Fergus or something, how many uh, vulnerabilities do we have right now? That's my question. One. We have two. Okay, another one is really important. Obviously, Leaf can heal himself with a Light Brand. Could attack with Brighton. I don't double though. No, that's probably not much of a reason. Even if Maka kills that guy, we should be okay. I guess I'll have... L do, I want do I want Karen to get captured? Maybe it's okay. It's probably okay if she gets captured, yeah. Okay. Uh, they're gonna... Stream every... Uh, yeah, at, at least for... Um, at least at the moment, I like I said, I want to get back to more consistent streaming. So, unless something changes in the, in the future, which who knows. Uh, my plan at the moment is to... Um, yeah, to stream every Iron Man, so. Um, yep, that's my, that's my plan at the moment. Hey, she dodged something. Okay, well, nobody appeared from behind, which is nice, so. Fergus has four defense, Brighton has five, yeah, he also has the Wrath skill. So you need to get out of here and you really need to heal. And then I think we're going to start heading toward this section, and it's all these javelin guys that are really annoying. What do you have? Short lance, another javelin guy. I feel like I really need to start actually killing enemies, you know? I do double, but I don't even kill, yikes. All right, let's just back up. Well, we gotta do something. Um, maybe we just do like this and this, because you have like a, a solid amount of, that's nah, not that good, uh, seven defense, yeah, so why don't we do this, well, yeah, whatever, and then I guess I'll back up with Fergus, okay. Trivi six Iron Man. Trivi work when I had nothing to do. This is very happy. Okay, I'm glad you enjoyed it. So on YouTube, yeah, I got you. Yep, yep. So we will definitely be streaming. I actually was planning to, because I feel like people enjoy the GBA. That's what I used to when I streamed a lot before. It would be primarily the GBA games. So I was planning on waiting until we got to those to start streaming again. But, um, but obviously I started now. But yes, we will be definitely streaming Fire Emblem Six when we get there, and I'm excited about that. Promo 6 is, I think, the game I've, like, streamed and played on, played the most, so, um, it's, it's been a bit since we played that game, so, definitely excited to get back to it. You just have one range, right? Okay. Could use Laura as capture bait here. Actually, wouldn't be a terrible idea, to be honest. Alright, I'm down, I'm down. It's gonna really help us deal with this guy. Uh, but like I said, it, it's tough for these units. To capture, so it's really important to take all the weapons off of anyone that you're using as capture bait. Uh, because it's not that consistent that you'll be able to capture back. Okay, I'm actually gonna put Leaf here, I think, with the Light Brand. I really do need to thin some of these soldiers out. I think that's important. And you should be able to take the hits. He's 37 HP after all. Okay, 
Oh, that's actually a really good point, Hollow. I didn't think about that. Yeah, stealing the vulnerabilities. Yeah, I should I should be doing that for sure. I was thinking my mind goes straight to like capturing, but you're completely right. We can just steal the vulnerabilities off the enemies, which we should definitely be doing. I did put a decent amount of vulnerabilities on both uh, Leaf and Liffus, so we, we should have a decent amount to work with, but no, it is really important to have vulnerabilities during this section. Healing this chapter has to be fired, yeah. <laughs> or the next chapter for that matter. It isn't until you get Nana uh, two chapters from now that you finally get a healer during the Master Escape. It's not great. It's not great. Um, but yeah, this chapter can be pretty pretty annoying, although we're, do we're doing okay so far. And then the uh, the end of this chapter can be really tough with uh, the recruit of Dalshin, because um, that with all the enemies in that room, it can get really hairy. And then the next chapter, the Gaiden chapter, can be really difficult. The need for the magic ring on Leaf. Yeah, honestly, this is. If you want proof that it'd be really useful, here it is, right? He'd be one-rounding all these guys if we had it. What is- does Leaf have any growth? Any magic growth? Uh, 10%, so not great. You know who got a magic growth? My, uh, my Marty got a magic growth. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Okay. This is gonna be a little annoying, so I apologize, but give me one second here. Um... It's gonna look pretty funky. Okay. I'm gonna just do a really quick save state. That reminded me because we were playing, I was streaming um, Friday and we were playing that chapter, the, the previous chapter and Marty got a point of magic and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. And then my entire computer crashed. So um, I'm gonna make a save state here just to try to make it so that the, we don't lose all our progress if my computer crashes again, which is a definite possibility. Okay, so who all has vulnerabilities? I think they like all come with vulnerabilities, to be honest. Oh yeah. Bunch of vulnerabilities for the picking here. Give me that. Gimme, give gimme, give dude. And 10 experience to boot? What a deal. Okay, we do need to make sure to kill this guy. Let's see what I checked. Uh, it's FE5 gross. As we're playing, yeah, that's what that's what's funny is like, yeah, Leaf's gross and FE4 are like really high. Like he's actually pretty ridiculous, and he gets mounted when he promotes. And then you play this game, and he doesn't get mounted when he promotes, and his growth suck. <laughs> I mean, they're not like atrocious, but they're not very good. Unfortunately, Sage Marty is cursed. <laughs> uh, yeah, I <laughs> I believe that. That is, a, that is a cursed thing to say and think about. Okay, give me the lockpick. And I guess I'll thin your inventory a touch to help you out. Let's open the door. Let's all keep heading this way. The next thing that we have to do, obviously, is make a little... I'm not going to open this door until we can make a seal on this uh, staircase. When I was playing, when I was first playing this game a long time ago, um, I didn't realize that you could, like, bar the staircases, and it was like... If you don't use that strategy where you put people on the staircase so that the enemies don't come through, it is so tedious. It's like, an enemy spawns, captures a villager, an enemy spawns, captures a villager. And there's just like nothing you can do if the enemies keep spawning on the on the staircase. It's so frustrating. But thankfully, we can use the strategy of uh, sitting people on the staircase and not have to worry too much about that. Which is uh, quite nice. The strategy is actually working pretty well, having Leaf over here being uh, a bit annoying, and then uh, so that he's aggroing the units over here. Um, this guy's just gonna go heal. I do have five crit though. Uh, this is probably a waste of a combat. That's nah, okay. I get seven experience for it. That's not so bad. Yeah, because he has a vulnerary. Do you have like. He does have Adept. Okay, so there was a chance that he could have, like, proc something. And... Vulnery. Okay, we love to see that. 
Vulnery, we love to see that. <laughs> yeah, you're missing some health, which we also love to see. Brighton, I believe, is the only person Fergus might be able to capture, too. No, I think Brighton is the only person that can actually capture of the team that you get here. Um, but outside... Oh, I, I should have stolen more, more Vulneries. I... I gotta, I gotta remember to steal vulnerabilities more. That would have been a, a good idea for that turn, but whatever. All right, apparently Sage Maka as well. We got magic on her. Uh, what is her growth? It's gotta be like 5% as well, right? Or something really low. Where? Huh, am I just blind? Where? Oh, there she is. 10%, okay, so, you know, not the worst. Uh, this guy's just gonna heal too. All right, well this guy's just gonna heal, so we may as well just not even attack him, I think. Okay. Little Beast on the Constitution Scroll. Yeah, I've always thought about that. Is there a scroll that... I, I actually didn't know there was a scroll that increases Constitution, but... Yeah, if you can get, like, Lifus with Insane Constitution, I mean, you just break the game, right? At that point. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Solid level up. Not terrible. The Paladin with Wrath... Yep, that, that's Brighton. Yep. He is, uh, he is the, he's the one standing next to Fergus there. Oh, he's about to be attacked. Yeah. Yeah. He's really good. Wrath in this game is extremely powerful. As we, uh, as we see evidenced right there as he's able to kill the guy. <laughs> it's really good. And even though he's a pretty slow unit, he's still fast enough to double some of the, uh, the enemies with the iron sword. Not a great level up, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, Brighton is definitely uh, benefited by Wrath. The Wrath skill is just so good in this game. Seventeen Constitution. Yeah, that's insane. That is really powerful. Okay, let's get on the. Oh, I thought. Okay, well, whatever. We'll do that. Um, you have a javelin. Yeah. I wonder if he'll capture Karen or if he'll like attack me. Yeah, I can't kill. Yeah, I'm gonna start this going. A thousand thanks upon ye, Magi. Everybody, make a break for this uh, stairway east of here. Yeah, thankfully they don't just go to random stairways. That would be unfortunate. I'm actually gonna send Lifus out here because we can maybe, maybe steal his vulnerability. I'm curious if he'll capture Karen because he does have range, so he might not. Um, I think I'll just have Lifus or Leaf go around here. Oh, he did capture. Good. Yeah, I should get the scrolls to someone else here, right? I, I always kind of default to putting them on Leaf, or at least I was in the previous uh, couple of chapters. But at this point, Leaf is such a high level that it's going to be hard to give him levels. Oh, it was it was just like HP, speed, luck. It, it wasn't really that fantastic, to be honest. As most Leaf uh, level ups are, are pretty, me pretty mediocre at best. Okay. Alright, so what we can do here is... You don't have full inventory, right? Okay, so let's... Can you get to me? I don't think so. Your movement's pretty bad. Yeah, not even close. I'm gonna yoink your Vulnery that I'm sure you have. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever used the whole, like, Vulnery stealing strat on this chapter before. But it's actually really good. I, I should definitely be incorporating this more. Uh... I guess I've never thought about it. I know that thieves can steal um, uh, uh, tomes, which are really good. I'm going to put Karen here so that she can get captured again. And then I guess you can finish off the chests. Armor Slayer. Uh, the Armor Slayer is really good, and it will be useful at the end of this chapter. Although you got to be a little careful with it. Okay, that's fine. This is also fine. But yeah, Fergus having the scrolls is really good. Um, probably Fergus is the best recipient of them right now. 
because he's he's out of the units that we just recruited fergus is probably the only one that i actually wouldn't mind training in the long term um so yeah i would not hate to give him the scrolls if we can okay, let's see what maka can do although i've never trained maka okay see this is yeah this is the one sort of sketchy part Oh man, this could be really bad. This this could be really bad if I miss. Okay, okay, we're okay. So this is the one, again, the one sketchy part, especially of doing the capture baiting like this, because if half of the attacks that we just um, did missed, which isn't a very good chance, right? They're all 90%. But if half of them had missed, Karen actually would have uh, been taken away, which is, um, obviously not desirable. So we could steal this guy's vulnerary, but if an enemy spawns from here and can reach Lifus, he could actually die, so I think I'm just gonna kill this guy. Actually, let's use the Light Brand so we can attack the Javelin guy. really good because he has five and later five pcc and later in the game the beyblade follow-up attacks have a multiplier to crit rate so for says 10 percent crit on his second attack oh yeah i think i remember somebody mentioning something like that that is a mechanic that it, i'm not super familiar with is there a place where you can see that or is that just like a default thing yeah, it doesn't look like you can. Unless, is, is it the 5 CM up there? I, d I do remember somebody talking about that. There's so, mu so much bizarre stuff in this game. It's like impossible to, I feel like to remember like everything. Oh, is that, okay, so that's the thing up there. So what does the five mean exactly? So if he has five, 10% crit, it's like, oh, so it's like a multiplier to second hit crit. Is that what it is? So what does everybody have? One, two, one, three, okay. Oh, follow up crit multiplier, that makes sense, okay. Yeah, that is actually, I feel like I'm familiar with most of the bizarre mechanics from this game, but that's one that I'm actually not not super familiar with, so, interesting. There's just, there's so many things in Thracia that are like, it's just, it's so weird, you know? I kind of love all of it, but didn't smoke the wilds of things when they made this game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. Why does this guy have three res, by the way? <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> There's just so much weird stuff in this game. <laughs> FCM, huh? Um, so he has five. That's actually kind of huge. So his follow-up attack... So Fergus' second attack will have a five-time crit mo Holy shit. I, was, I always thought that, like, Fergus wasn't that good. I mean, he's a fine character, obviously, but he wasn't, like, that fantastic because he doesn't have any good skills or anything, and he's, like, an okay class, but that is kind of a skill to have a five-time crit multiplier on follow-ups. Or not follow-ups, but um, second attacks. Just Kaga in general, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. He is a interesting fella, that's for sure. Iron Sword. I left a lot of Iron Swords because I wanted to make sure we had a bunch. Okay, let's have Fergus go help, and then we should be pretty well set up to at least get to the next portion of this chapter. Uh, Hollow probably knows more, but I think Kaga made all the games until Fire Emblem Six. But I'm not 100% sure. Up to Thracia, and then the Saga games, yep. Yeah. I actually would love to try the Saga games at some point. Um, but... I feel like there's so many different, like... Fire Emblem games and different playthroughs and stuff that I'd love to try, but, you know, you only have so much time. Uh. 
I have so much time in the day. But yeah, I would love to try those games at some point. So he's full. And I like to keep all of his stuff. Um, why don't you give him a vulnery? Why don't you give him two vulneries? That's probably the way to go. And then here, Fergus, you can have my scrolls. Does that short sword suck? What's going on with the short sword here? Six might. It weighs two more, but it's got slightly. What is this thing? It's got five more hit, but it weighs two more. I mean, it doesn't matter for him because he has eight constitution, but it sort of kind of sucks. Translation patches needed. Yeah, I was when we were when I was um uh, when I was doing this series on YouTube, I was kind of uh, thinking about potentially uh, playing those the saga games because um, I think. I think technically you'd play them after this, I guess, because they were made after this, but um, obviously I, you know, I, I probably won't. I think we'll just do all the Fire Emblem games. Maybe if way down the line we've completed every Fire Emblem game, all the Iron Man stuff that I want to do, maybe we'll do the, the Saga games, but that's, uh, we'll see. But I would love to try them. Do you enjoy cutscenes that can last literally hours? Uh, probably not. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that that was a thing in those games, but yeah, I mean, that doesn't sound super fun to me, but... All right, let's rob these people of their vulnerabilities. Wow, I, yeah, again, I've never used this strap before. You can really just like, <laughs> have basically infinite vulnerabilities. Holy shit. Yeah, like I said, we want to be using Fergus a bit here for sure because if we can get his weapon rank up, he can he can use the fire sword, which is really powerful. Definitely desirable. Did you play them? Yeah, that I did not I didn't realize that was a, a feature of them. Um maybe I'll have to rethink that. Maybe I wouldn't mind doing it at some point as just like a like sort of a side project. Like maybe we maybe during like the week we stream um, a Fire Island game, and then, like, on the weekend we do that, but... At the moment, I really want to, like, laser focus on the Iron Man series that I'm doing, because, you know, I only stream so much, and, uh, it's, it's already gonna take so long to complete all the games, but... Okay, so we could steal this guy's vulnerability with Lifus. The question is, so let's say somebody spawned here. Let me, let me do some math here. You have five minutes, so... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's no way somebody could spawn to get to Lifus, so let's go ahead and steal that vulnerability. And then I think I'll just have Maka and Karen stay on the door um, for the time being. What happened to Ronan? Uh, I made an, a very sus suspect play with him, and he got murdered. Actually, on his uh, recruitment chapter, I'm pretty sure Ronan might actually be the, like, the lowest turn survived unit I've ever had. He died almost like like the turn after I recruited him. It was uh, it was pretty sad to be honest. Oh, I was trying to avoid this. I guess we probably have enough vulnerabilities. I was trying to avoid sending stuff to the convoy because you don't have access to it for a bit. Okay, this brave axe is for Dalshin, so that should be good. It's been a lot, it's been a bit uh Carson Sink. I hope you've been well. It's been uh, it's been quite some time. So just from the bottom. Oh, do they not for a bit now? That'll be good. We should be pretty well set up here at this point. I think I'm just gonna start We should probably kill the javelin guy, right? Because he can just keep attacking me. That's very annoying. Did you die just outside his house? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure he made it all of about two feet from his house and then got absolutely murdered. Could capture this guy, but I don't think it... Javelins aren't the most useful thing in the world. Doing okay, that's good. Doing an Ezra Moon because I hate myself. Is Ezra Moon... That's a... Is that one of the three houses, like, routes? Or... 
at some point so my my plan right now is to iron man all the games so at some point i will also be doing that uh, but i'm not super familiar with it so good luck i guess i don't think i ever played because azure moon is like the the dlc one or the extra one right i only ever played claude and eldegard's route on uh, three houses Shot him with an iron bow with a venom bow. <laughs> I put poison in his mutton and he died. <laughs> oh, Azure Moon is Dimitri. Okay, I didn't realize that. You also plan Iron Man all the games. Oh well. Oh, good luck to you. Good luck to you as well. Yeah, that's um, that's the series I've been uh, I've been working on at the moment. Obviously, as you can see, we're only <laughs> we're only on Fire Emblem Five, so we have a ways to go, but. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try a lot of those newer ones, especially like three houses I'm not as familiar with, um, but, but yeah, that is the, uh, the plan. All right, we can start heading up to the north now. Let's see, we have to engage. Oh, Warriors is the like Dynasty Warriors run, right? Yeah. It was probably pretty fun. I'm really excited actually to play Engage again. I never finished Engage, but I really liked it. I had a lot of fun playing it. It was just like, it was just a kind of a weird time when I was playing it, but I really enjoyed Engage. I'm excited to try that game again. doing oh fe3 on the side yeah we uh we did FE fe3 not too long ago i really like that game fe3 especially book two i think is uh is really good i really enjoyed it it's not like super hard or anything none of the early games are really but it's it's i thought it was really good a lot of fun to play um <laughs> she's the hell out of three houses i'm excited to learn that uh when we get there uh, Carsonus, actually, well, I have you here, and you, you said you're Iron Manning um, three houses. I'm kind of curious with those games because um, uh, three houses and then Engage both have that system where you can, like, turn back time and you get, like, I don't know, like, five five chances added on a chapter or something. I'm not really sure how it works, but... So when, when you Iron Man, do you, like... Do you say that you can use your five turn back times or whatever in a chapter? Um, you don't use the turn wheel. Okay, interesting. I've never really thought about like what a rule set would look like in games like that because I've never attempted one, but I was always curious about, about that. Is Mary killed or took a shot in the dot. Ah, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is, I got pretty lucky on, on my playthrough because I didn't have to, uh, we were able to get all the shards um, and get the the good ending. Yeah, that's right. I didn't even realize that Fire Emblem 3 is kind of like uh, 6 where you have to like get all the shards to get like the good ending, but. Um, that's good to know, Carsonis. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to, I guess I'll make my own, uh, determinations when we get there but i was really curious about that how people kind of handle that okay the next portion of this chapter is actually a bit of a pain um we are going to be recruiting a new unit but there's a bunch of armors and some uh, magic users that are very scary here so I'm trying to think about exactly how we should handle this unfortunately i did not get fergus to um I did not get Fergus to B, so he can't use the Flame Sword, which is unfortunate. We do have the Armor Slayer, which I... Who is the Armor Slayer right now? I should actually get that to somebody. She does, yeah. What does it take to use? It also takes B? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Leaf is actually B, funnily enough. Um, okay, let's open the door with Laura. Oh, I... For Okay, okay. We can rescue, we can rescue. I, I didn't realize that they were going to be able to reach me, but that's okay, that's okay. I really thought this out. Okay, rescue Laura so she doesn't get absolutely massacred. Now, everybody else, just make sure we're healed. Um, 
But yeah, th this room in particular can get really hairy. For our gink squad time. Yeah, that, <laughs> the, the, the next chapter is also going to be pretty sus, uh, suspect, but... Uh, then drop her, and then Kieran go up. Okay, we should be good then for the next turn. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I thought it hit end and <laughs> I was looking at uh, I was looking at chat. I was like, did the game just break? What just happened? There's a escape map in the DLC where everyone is a defeat condition. Even five move Lionheart. Oh my god, that sounds like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Okay, so Dalshin could do a really good job of being a really uh, strong defensive option here. The problem is these stupid mages. So ideally we can kill those mages as quickly as possible. Now the one thing that we're always gonna do here is recruit Dalshin. So we'll start there. What, the Empire tried to uh, take me own kin in their damn child hunts. I was I was only going along with them because they promised my family would be, would be spared. Damn Raedric and damn the Empire. I've no luck for that or for any of them. I defect. My life is in your hands. Thank you, Dalshin. Uh, now Dalshin is a pretty mediocre unit, but he'll be really important here and in the next chapter. Now the nice thing is that these guys don't have any attack speed, so they only deal 10 damage. And we have a ton of vulnerabilities to go around. 22. Can you kill? Let me... It has 14 might. He has 9, so that's... 23, 23 minus 11. Hmm. The only, the only problem with, well, they only have two range. Maybe it's okay. I'm just a little bit afraid if I have Dalshin kill this guy. This guy also has crit, by the way. All right, uh, let's um, let's do this. Um, whoops. I'm gonna give you a scroll, and I'm gonna give you a scroll. I'd like to avoid crit if we can, obviously. And then I'm gonna give you a scroll. Everybody gets a scroll, and then... I love that you can infinite trade in this game, it's so great. And then I'm gonna bra battle axe or brave axe this guy. This is like pretty bad if we get hit, but I can't really think of... The okay, this actually isn't so bad. And I'll explain why in a second. Hopefully we can kill. Oh, I, I forgot how brave weapons work. We don't have to take the hit. I'm stupid. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, every everything that comes up to this part, yeah, it's definitely a pain. Thracia has to be one of my favorite games. Iron Man, mine too, mine too. I really like Iron Man and Thracia. It just, Thracia is such a brutal game that I feel like it's one of the best games to Iron Man because it's so different every time. Um, yeah, I agree, I agree. Favorite game in terms of gameplay, 100%. Yeah, the guidance chapter to this, the the starting turn is such a nightmare. We'll see how it goes, but... Um, give Sirs a remake? I'd love to see it. I would be really curious. I was saying this with Genealogy as well. Although Genealogy is a little bit different. But in this game, if they ever remade 5, I'd be curious how much they change it. Because it's such a brutal game. So, the nice thing about having Maka back here is that it's very likely somebody will attack her at range. Although with Dalsham being at full health, I think he's actually probably okay. So maybe I'll actually move Maka back. Well, I can always just heal her. I'll probably just keep her there. Um, yeah, I guess we just end the turn. Did any reinforcements start? Oh, wow. That looks really weird. I don't think I've ever opened that before. Did we get all the chests we did, right? Yes. Okay. We should be good for the enemy phase here. Unless something goes really wrong. I guess back up a little bit just in case, but... I think we should be okay. Unless something really bizarre happens. Do we can get to the Chrome 4 was... Oh, like a Fire Emblem 4 remake? Oh, that would be cool. I didn't realize that they had uh, they had sort of leaked it like that, but that's, yeah, that's really cool. One of the things, I mentioned this when we played Genealogy, I am really curious how they handle Genealogy because, spoiler alert, I guess for Genealogy, but there is a huge plot point in the middle of that game that is extremely brutal. And I'd be really curious, I mean, maybe they'll just leave it, but, 
I feel like modern Fire Emblem games are so much more tame in comparison to what happens in that game, so I'd be really curious how much they changed it. Never played from one to three, or one to five. Yeah, these these are definitely like until you get to the GBA games, they're they're I definitely understand not playing them. It took me a long time to play, especially games before um, Fire Emblem Four, because those games are quite old. But definitely no shame in uh, in just playing the newer Fire Emblem games for sure. These games are very old and very dated, but they still have some some nice gameplay for sure. The next con console, yeah, it could be. This is the Arvis. Juju shenanigans? Yeah, that, that's a good point. There's some very interesting stuff that happens in uh, in genealogy story throughout. And I'm I'd be really curious to know if they left everything in. I mean, there's like incest in the second part of that game. So I'd be really curious to see if they change that stuff. I'm going to play FE3. I would highly recommend FE3. I like FE3 a lot. I was pretty... Uh, because I, I played the remake of FE3 when it came out, but I'm not that familiar with it. And I played FE3 recently, like the original, and I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think the map design in that game is, is really solid. To me, FE3 is like the first game where Kaga finally or starts to like do his kind of quirky stuff. It's not Thracia, not by any means, but it's it's good. It's, it's pretty good. Ow! What the hell? <laughs> you want to dodge some stuff, Maka? What the hell? They better keep it in. Oh, I agree. I, I think it, it makes it a very interesting game. I, I hope they uh, they keep it, but... Ooh, having the Light Brand here equipped might be a little sketchy. Because Leaf might be... I mean, it's good because Leaf's going to be able to kill a lot of these guys, but it, it, it could lead to him taking a lot of damage, which is a little bit scary. Rune 4 is the most mature Fire Emblem game. Yeah, I agree with that. Although I think... um, I kind of compare FE4 to Three Houses. To me, FE4 and Three Houses are the only two Fire Emblem games that are like... And maybe Thracia, because there's some kind of mess up stuff going on here, but I think Three Houses is also a game that's trying to actually say something and be a little more mature, but yeah, genealogy is definitely uh, definitely unique in that regard. Sure how disgusted I am? Yes, I, I'm, I'm the same way. I, I accidentally uh, paired Ares with um nana i actually have a video uh on my youtube channel that I, I just uploaded where they had a conversation in the last chapter and obviously if two characters can talk you hit the talk button right why not and they literally say the words oh, i'm trying to remember what it is it's something like no wonder we so for one thing nana like complains about how her mom loved eldigan who's obviously her brother but never pursued that so she like complains that she didn't do that. And then she says like literally the words, you know, no wonder we're together, we're cousins, we're like made for each other, which is like, ugh, <laughs> not great. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad thing. Um, by the way, this is actually going really well. Sometimes this portion of the chapter kind of falls apart, but this is, I shouldn't say this because somebody's gonna die, but this is actually going quite uh, quite well. Like heavy 11s art style yeah the the ds games are a bit a bit ugly yeah they're definitely an acquired taste if you like the way these games look then I highly recommend fire Emblem 3 for sure yeah telius gets a little funky i mean telius has like slaves and stuff so telius gets a little funky i wish my mom did my brother dude she basically says that like genuinely like i remember reading that and just being like because you know before you read something like that, you're like, okay, well, the cousins can pair up. That's weird, but maybe they just didn't realize it. And then you read that and you're like, oh no, they not only did they realize it, but this is like, this is what they wanted. And you're like, oh, maybe this isn't great. All right, let's finish off Mr. Mage. I'd love, you can actually steal thunder. I'd love to be able to do that, but I, well, I suppose I could, is this too cute to try to do something like this? Whatever, I was, 
I was born losing Fire Emblem runs to doing things too cute, and I'll die doing it, so... We have no idea to Alabama, for fuck's sake. Exactly. <laughs> uh. Radiance blind. Ooh, I love Path of Radiance. I feel like people are more middling, especially on the gameplay Path of Radiance. That's one of those, like, super nostalgia games that I have, because I played it so much when I was a kid. Ooh, I can't kill that guy. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, I may have messed this up now that I think about it. Yeah, this might not have been the best played turn in the history of Fire Emblem. All right, you know what? We can salvage it. I'm going to heal you so you don't die. Because that would not be Pog Champ. Can... Too many experience and stuff, that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. Path of Radiance, the Telly's games definitely get a little more extreme, especially in regard to that. Julian Selif, I think there's, somebody mentioned something about that. I think there's like a glitch where you can do it, but then they like took it out or something. I'm, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Telif is definitely too stupid to realize, that is true. The Nears are both blind, so are they Lannister's coincidence? It's, dude, uh, genuinely it seems that way. All right, we're gonna throw Karen out here as capture bait because we love doing that. And you know what? Oh, Laura might actually have too much stuff to be captured by it. Oh no, we, we should be able to figure it out. When in doubt, throw the young women at the enemies. Uh, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. You don't want the stuff. He wants the stuff. Please don't take all of his stuff and then get it stolen. That would be really unfortunate. I can even steal this dude's vulnerary. Thank you. Although he's just gonna take it back when he captures me, but you know, whatever. Uh, I don't think I need to vulnerary him. He should be okay. I think we should be pretty set up for the rest of this chapter. Unless something really bizarre happens here. Well, okay. Yeah, wait, see, this is bad. Can you one-shot me? No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Wait, Karen's actually has a shit ton of magic, holy shit. I was thinking it was a little bit bad if the mage moved first and attacked Laura, because maybe he could one-shot, but no, we're okay. We're okay. They definitely can't. Oh, can they? Ooh, <laughs> yikes. The story's actually alright so far. I like it a lot. I'm I'm pre I'm pretty like medio medium, I guess I would say, on most Fire Emblem stories. Like Except for the really interesting ones, like the first half of Genealogy, I think most of them are pretty mediocre, but I really like Path of Radiance. I don't know. I, I think it has a good story. Radiant Dawn gets a little funky, let's say, but uh, no, I, I like Path of Radiance story a lot. I am a big fan here. Uh, oh, you don't have Vulnery. Wow, they didn't give you a Vulnery? They must not like you, dude. Can I double with the Battle Axe? No. Let's just make sure we kill this guy. Tripling for the radius with the Romp Cup crashing in Chapter 5. That sucks. That's really unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. So my like my like introduction to Fire Emblem was through Sacred Stones and Path of Radiance. Those are like the games I had as a kid. So those two games for me, especially Path of Radiance, are like I've played them just a ridiculous amount of time. Um, I need to get some stuff off your inventory. So let's murder this guy. Yeah, that's a good. That's a point. A good point, Carsonist. Yep. Um, personal weapons and, and scrolls cannot be stolen. Yeah, which means even if I accidentally did do that, the light brand would not be stolen. Neither would the uh, hazel scroll, which is, which is important because obviously we want to keep those things. Uh, I want to keep stuff off Karen. Can somebody else take some of this stuff? Perfect. Karen is capture bait. Uh, another thing that you have to be a little bit careful when using capture bait is ranged uh, enemies will often, they'll usually capture, but like archers and stuff can't capture. So they'll still attack your units. So you gotta be a little bit careful with that. Look at this, I'll take it. Tell you the best uh, friendly story. 
I don't know. I'd have to think about it a little bit more to say best, but I like it a lot for sure. Shadow Dragon New Mystery? Yeah, I think so too. Shadow Dragon I think is a little, a bit generic, but I think they do a good job with, with what they have for sure. Yeah, I think I'm in the same camp as you. I have a pretty big bias too. I really like Path of Radiance's story, but I, I, yeah, I have so much nostalgia for it. Like, Generation concept, yeah, it, it is cool. It, it is cool. New Mystery the MM, I think, adds a lot of stuff to the original Fire Emblem game that makes it really interesting. Okay, does anybody want, before we do the next chapter, because the next chapter, turn one, is a nightmare. I make sure everybody has what they should have. I'm gonna give you the Armor Slayer, because you're the only one that can use it at the moment. Um, Laura has nothing, which is good. You can escape, you're good to go. Deck out like this, watch your back, okay. Martha Fire Emblem Wailer from Smash. From Tuto Basic. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty generic, yeah, for sure. I mean most lords are. Actually, that's one of the things I really like about Talius, because I actually like Ike a lot. I think he's I like that he's not a lord. I think sometimes Fire Emblem not only makes their lords really generic, but also makes them it's just hard to root for like a lord sometimes, you know. So I like Ike, but yeah, he, he's fine. But he's he's um he's traditional honorable archetype. But he's all right. Yeah, I agree. Pretty generic, but yes, we stole this guy's staff, and Liphus will be stealing uh, this man's heal staff in a second here. I think Maka's okay to escape. Hey, one, I'll be just up ahead. I feel like I mentioned this every time we play this game, but. The first time I played this game, it was all in Japanese, and I had no clue that you had to escape with all the units before, um, <laughs> ladies first, before Leaf escaped. So I played this game, like, five different times, and I was thoroughly confused by how the hell you were supposed to play this game. Because <laughs> obviously Leaf just, you know, there are no units if you don't escape with them. I'll make it back home someday, wait for me. Some people think mages can't capture... Constitution. Twenty Constitution when mounted. Yep, that's true. That is true. It's just do which I love so much. Yeah, Ike is definitely my favorite uh, Fire Emblem protagonist. Um, he's the only one. To me, he's really the only one that's actually actually feels like a person. You know, he's actually like an interesting individual, which I obviously appreciate. Uh, let's wait to escape just because Lifus might have to. I guess I can murder these clerics, but I kind of want to just get out of here, to be honest. Oh, they're they're out too. They don't want any part of uh, whatever whatever we're doing here. Uh, here, you want to whack this guy? Awakening Fates and uh, Radiant Dawn. It's an interesting uh, combination of um, games. Yeah, I think. Um, I've never played Awakening or Fates on anything but, um, like the easiest difficulty, so I'm really excited to try those, but, um, yeah. I'm a big fan of Radiant Dawn, although it, I, Radiant Dawn is a very messy game. I won't obviously spoil anything about the story or the gameplay, but it is, um, I love it, but it's interesting, let's just say that. It's not like Alm who's actually Lord despite being presumably not being one. Yes, that's a great point. That is a phenomenal point. Yes, there is no reveal. Ike obviously has some like slight heroic ties because his father is obviously, you know, was one of the generals of Dayan and and he's really powerful and his mother has some connections too, but no, he does not turn out to be the prince of you know, Dayan or whatever, which I think is is really beneficial toward him. Another clean getaway in my regards, gentlemen. Finally, we get out with Leaf. It was so bad. Kill my interest in 3DS ones, really? I, see, I like Echoes a lot, but... Oh, is that Manfroy? Veld, how goes our uh, your operations here? Smoothly, Archbishop Manfroy. Some of the citizens mount a meager resistance, but their children are harvested all the same. Jeez, harvested! Splendid, then Tara is the only city not under our influence. If they remain disagreeable, make an example of them, burn the city and its people. 
Showmanster and the Empire, uh, Showmanster that the Empire does not tolerant, tolerate resistance. It would be done, um, your eminence, but the generals of House Frege seem to have lost their nerve. They've surrounded the city, but have yet to act. Holy shit, Ishtar's here too! The whole crew's here! <laughs> Princess Ishtar, your father appears to be openly defying the direct orders of the crowd. Surely you have an explanation for this lack of resolve. My father has been placed in a difficult position. Many of our own, as well as the clergy, are vehemently opposed to the practice of child hunts. Really? My own brother is among the uh, dissidents, and I stand with him. Archbishop Manfroy, on behalf of my family, I must ask that you stop this savagery. Abducting children too young to lift a sword, separating them from their families, it's simply un unconscious, unconscionable. Un it it's not good. <laughs> But you don't stop there, do you? No, you take these innocent souls and sacrifice them to the, your dark god. Have you no shame? Oh, Julius is here too! Holy shit! Ishtar, my beloved, there's been a terrible misunderstanding. Never would I condone the slaughter of children. Do you truly believe me capable of such a thing? I merely want them to be trained and educated, sculpted into adults worthy to inhabit the Empire. The ones who survive our rigorous training will become a new kind of ruling class, one that covers over all others of common birth. Consider it, these, children's, these children of peasants are given a chance to earn nobility, even happiness for themselves. At what cost? They compete uh, against each other, learn to hate each other, struggle to survive without their families. You dare call that happiness? Ah, uh, my dear, you'll understand my wisdom. Your betrothed wisdom. Your betrothed wisdom. Betrothed. It's a hard word to say. One day. Say, there's a beautiful bed of flowers just out back. Let's take a view together, Ishtar, <laughs> Lord Julius. Wow, the the amount of like powerful magic users that's just right next to Leaf right now is crazy. One of the things that's really interesting about Thracia is that you're such a like small story in a much bigger world, right? So obviously like Julius, Manfroy, Ishtar, these are all like the final bosses of genealogy, but you don't fight them in this game. <laughs> Julius sure is a nice guy. Yeah, he seems all right. Look, he even said he didn't. He condemned the child hunts. What a nice guy. Um, here's my favorite fire emblem. First fire emblem, but the lore and the characters. Yeah, I think three houses to me. It reminds me actually. It, this this might be like totally crazy and just a me thing, but three houses reminds me a ton of genealogy. Where I think the stories are both pretty interesting. I like them both. And I think they both have really fun, very like tedious, like um, gameplay elements where you can sort of craft characters how you want them, um, which I really like. But I think the gameplay of both is like winds up being pretty tedious to me. So to me, both those games are very similar. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and then we will start this uh, nightmare of a chapter. So I'll be right back.
Okay, we back. True wins is totally as well. <laughs> what is the most grounded story? It's very, it's very interesting because, like I said, it's such a like small scale thing in comparison to. It's kind of like how Path of Radiance relates to Radiant Dawn, although they're reversed, obviously. I mean, Radi Radi Path of Radiance is still a much grander story than Thracia. But it's such a like small scale, small I can't talk small scale story when you compare it to the other game that encompasses like the whole continent. Professional Three Houses hater though. <laughs> I I liked Three Houses. I played like I said I've done two routes and I enjoyed them. I enjoyed the story, which surprised me considering I kind of hated Fates. Um, and I liked the gameplay elements. Uh, the custom uh, customization but when i did the third rocks i want to do them all i just got so bogged down with the monastery man but um i'm really excited to try it on like the hardest difficulty on an iron man I, i'm really excited to do that eventually oh yeah Ra radiant radiant dawn i would describe clusterfuck is a great word to describe radiant dawn i think <laughs> all right um sir said do you reckon the kids are safe Think of it this way. Uh, think of it the way Radric would. Would you send a convoy all the way to Belhalla with only three or four children? Or would you wait until you have plenty to show for yourself? There's still time, Asbel. And we can send them all back home. Their folks uh, must be awful worried. Focus, Asbel. There's too many guards about to celebrate just yet. <coughs> yes, sir. Listen closely. After you rescue the children, I want you to rejoin Brighton and seek out Prince Leaf of House Leinster. Come again, Prince Leaf. Indeed, he fell prey to uh, some trap of Radrix and was imprisoned in this very castle. As well, what's wrong? You're white as a sheet. Lord Leaf is a dear friend of mine, you see. We got separated in Dar Tara years ago, and I've been looking for him ever since. Leaf made a lot of friends in Tara, by the way. <laughs> or at least two, I guess. For three whole years, I've been searching. Then look alive. Today is the day uh, you've been waiting for. Find the prince and escape Manster with him. I've ordered all magi outside the castle to flee Manster as well. We'll be sitting ducks if we stay here much longer. Are you coming with us? I considered it, but I can't. There's many villages, villagers and townsfolk left in Manster, and they need my aid uh, just as well. You spent this whole time teaching me, and I can't even uh, help you in return. Some apprentice I turned out to be. No, this is my choice, Asbel. It's not your fault. Besides, all I really taught you was that Graf Caliber spell, and that's n that's not useful at all. So, uh, do me proud and use it to protect Prince Leaf. Sir said, "Will will you uh, will we see each other again someday?" The Prince Leaf is the hero we've been waiting for, and the long night is finally over, and Thracia will breathe free again. We will see each other again, Asbel, right here in Manster. Manster, right. Manster it is. Don't you forget it, Sir Said. <laughs> Come on, knock off the waterworks. But don't make them soldiers mad at us again. They'll just tell us to quit your belly aching like last time. Quit your belly aching is a great, uh, great line. Uh, I don't care if they get mad. If I get caught crying and they get angry, maybe they'll just send me home. <laughs> maybe they'll just send me home. I just want to go home. Now that girl's got the right idea. <laughs> Which is not every uh, from against be a massive war between nations. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the small scale stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't, you don't have to end up, you know, defeating the dark dragon of years past or whatever to have a um, a, a totally fine story. There is no monastery, mending Iron Man. Can you do no monastery? Um, skip the monastery. Maybe we will. I, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. Oh, that's really that's really tough. We'll we'll see when we get there. There's a lot of those any game past Shadow Dragon. I'm not super familiar with sort of like how to run it. So those will those will be interesting when we get there. Doofler, not to be a hothead. <laughs> Leap is smart enough to befriend the best unit in the game. Truly a master technician. <laughs> it's true. Actually, the two best units, right? Because he's he also befriended Safi and Tara. So my man. 
You know, he might not be very good, but he certainly picks his friends very well. Yeah, he of course has four steady, which makes him essentially invincible, which is quite good. Okay, so here's the thing. This chapter is a nightmare, and it's mostly a nightmare because this initial turn is very difficult. So there are a line of uh, knights here and a line of mages here. Now, the nice thing is that the mages have one more movement and, of course, two range. So you can maybe lure them out a little bit, but then there's also the soldiers over here that are a pain. Also, there are soldiers over here. Yeah, this first turn is not easy. If you can get out of the first couple of turns of this chapter, it's not so bad, but that's much easier said than done. So... I think... Yeah, how do we want to go about this? That's the question. Ideally, we can get some of the mages to come out and... Time for the RNG fest? Yes, very much so, unfortunately. It would be really nice if Fergus had the flame sword, but unfortunately he still can't use it, like I said. We could... How do we want to do this? They have long swords, okay. Um... How do we want to do this? That is a good question. I have the Armor Slayer. So you have 7 attack, and you have 18 attack because it's a long sword. Oh, Christ. Well, that's going to hurt a lot. I think I have, like, I have 7 defense. Okay, let's do this. Maka back up. I'm going to leaf go over here. Oh, don't use it. Just equip it. No. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's have Dulcian, I guess, go here. I could torch. Let's torch. Probably should have torched with somebody else to begin with, but whatever. So you can get to me. Oh, that's really. Oh, that's really bad. I didn't think about that. Well. Yeah, that's not good at all. That guy's 11 attacked. Oh, I have 15 avoid. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Um, I guess we can do this. Because they might want to attack Brighton. I am also going to... I mean, Laura has zero magic. And you have what? Nine? It'd be great if someone had charm, but I don't think anybody does. We have wrath. Um, time to get cooked, Dalshin. Yeah. So I'm going to take his scroll and I guess vulnerary. You should keep the vulnerary just in case he survives. There is a chance he survives, right? Because. For one thing, something could miss, but also this guy might want to attack Laura, and this guy also has the ability to attack Brighton. Now, I don't know if they're going to take those opportunities, but they, they are there. I'm also going to put Karen here, because there's a chance that this guy will attack Karen. I'm just going to give them as many other options as possible and see how things go. Okay, let's see how things go. It's not the biggest deal in the world if Dalshan dies, obviously, although we are going to lose out on the Brave Axe, which is unfortunate, because that would be really nice to have later. That's... That's a mediocre dodge because we really want... Okay, that's unfortunate. Because <laughs> we really... Not taking damage is good, obviously, but we really wanted to save that for later on in the turn. Yeah, th this is one of those things. This is a... Um, this is kind of a punish for... Uh, not getting uh, Fergus to be swords. Because if he was B swords, we'd have the fire sword and the armor slayer, and then we'd also have Leaf with the uh, with the light brand, which would give us two pretty powerful things, and Dalshan with the brave um, axe. Okay. I don't know that this is probably okay, and we get a good crit. Okay. The more we kill, the better. I'm sure this is going to be a banger level up. Speed, actually, not bad. Would you guys consider to be worse, Leaf or Roy? Oh, I think Roy, 100%, right? That That's where I'm at, where I would be at. 
I think as bad as Leaf is, I think Leaf is actually a, a genuinely pretty useful unit in this game. Like the the light brand is always pretty useful, and um, especially during the Manster Escape, he actually has a pretty strong neat uh, like neat niche or niche. Whereas Roy can never really do anything in that game. Oh, they're all attacking. Ah, they're all attacking Dulsh. Wait, no, I actually think this is good. I think he's alive because the mage. Yeah, 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 because the mage on the left moved to be in front of Dalshin, which means the mage that was right, like, down the column from Dalshin now can't get at him. So I actually think Dalshin's okay. Which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, about anybody else, but I would definitely say that Leaf is the better unit between Leaf and Roy. That, that's where I'm at. Although, to be fair, Roy actually has some pretty useful utility in the endgame once he gets the, the special sword. So maybe you want to include that, but... Right, yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> Roy... <laughs> I like that argument. <laughs> uh, Roy is just Roy. You can't argue with that. It's true. It's true, he is. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, so one of the great things about dealing with mages during this portion of the game is that... Um... She can't, but Lifus can just steal fire, which is awesome because it means you essentially kill the mage because they can't do anything. So, question is, how do we handle the next? Because these guys have long swords, which is really scary. I want to kill this guy. That would be a. But I also have to heal Dalshin, which is not just free. Um. God, it's just, like I said, it, it's such a shame because Leaf is really my only... Could you kill... 23... Nah, that looks pretty sketchy. God, even that's not that good. Alright, let's start here. At least we can get this good chip damage. Actually, I have an Armor Slayer. I really should have just used the Armor Slayer, right? No, I forgot I had that. Oh well. We can still take this a little bit slow. Can't steal this tone is such a dick move. Yeah, I agree. I agree, unfortunately. Um, okay, so... We're gonna have to probably rescue Lifus. So I'm gonna have you go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go over here, I guess, and... Vulnery. I'm really glad that I kept the Vulnery on him, because now we can use it. And then, can anybody kill this guy? He has 12, good lord. 13, not quite good enough. Ooh, I mean, I double, but that's also not really good enough. Shoot. It's a bit of a pain. And there's still a mage running around? Oh, God. Yeah, again, not, not getting Fergus that weapon level is definitely coming back to bite me. I would take 10 damage if it hit me. Oh, my God. That's a lot of, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Um, if it missed, it's not so bad. I also have to hit. All right, I think this is probably the, the best thing that I can think of, though, to be honest. Oh my god, that's such a good crit. That is such a good crit. Brighton, you're my hero. Actually. It should be a better game to start playing. 56, 2, or 3, 4, or 5. Um... Yeah, five, 5 I would definitely say is the most complicated. I think, well, I love learning Thracia and I find it really, really fun and really rewarding. I think it takes... It's a really difficult game to play if you don't know it very well. Um, so I would probably say both 3 and 4 aren't too bad. It really depends. If you want a very just like traditional Fire Emblem game, 3 is very traditional it, it it it'll just it'll feel like a fire emblem game whereas four is not like as brutal as five but it's really different like four has these massive maps um and it, it's it, you capture a bunch of castles it's very very different so i would probably just start with three unless you want to experience something really unique then i would say four um okay you know what we could do as well 
because I'm a little bit scared of Lifus here, and I and nobody can. I, well, because she can't rescue him, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, you know what? I want to do capture bait, but I don't want to do capture bait. I don't want to do capture bait where the soldier can capture, because I don't care that much about what that soldier does. I'm just, I'm afraid that Lifus is going to die. That's what I'm worried about. Can you kill this guy? No. Well, that's a bummer. Um, could you kill this guy? No. Could you kill this guy? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Genealogy also, I think... Oh, well, I didn't double. <laughs> Never mind, I can't kill him. Oh. I didn't even know you had movement stars. Okay, let's kill this guy. Um, Genealogy is also a game that, like I said, isn't as brutal, but it, it is definitely benefited from uh, knowledge, especially of like pair ups and stuff. So, ooh, we got the rank up. Okay, a little late, but better late than never. And then I'm gonna have you go here. Actually, I could use you as capture bait as well. Do we wanna do that? All right. All right, we currently have three capture baits. Uh, so <laughs> everyone is captured. <laughs> but no, this is great. Again, um, rescuing or capturing in this game not only lowers speed and skill like it does in most firing games, but it also lowers defense. So it's going to make them a lot easier to defeat. Uh, no, this is not Paragon mode. No, I never tried Paragon mode before, um, but no, this this isn't Paragon mode. Okay, so first three, then play four until halfway, then play five, then go back to four. I actually never thought about it that way. If you want to, I guess if you want to sort of experience the story in that way. Although, I don't know if that works that well because five also sort of goes to the end of four. I would probably recommend just playing four completely and then going on to five, but you can do it that way, yeah, for sure. You would, I guess you would do play four, uh, yeah, about halfway through. I think it's like chapter seven or something where Leaf appears and then you can go to five, but. I, like I said, I would probably just play four and then go to five, but you can certainly do it that way. Ooh, my inventory appears to be full, which is unfortunate. Uh, Dulcian's is not, however, which is great. <laughs> Look at his inventory. You can, you can tell what he's been doing. <laughs> it's just filled with, uh, heals and fire tomes. Okay, now we can't be too, uh, ridiculous here because we do have to be a little bit careful of where these knights are going to go. We do not want this knight to leave with Karen. That would be most unfortunate, so... Ugh, this guy's so fast, though. Am I faster? 11, I am. And I can kill, potentially. Okay, if I can kill... Uh... Oh my, oh my god, those misses. Those misses were some misses. Let me tell you, of all the misses I've ever seen, those were certainly misses. Wow. Now we're in a bit of a pickle. Oh god, those were really bad misses. They both missed too. Should not have moved Lifus here. That was a big mistake. Um Could you kill him? I gotta risk a miss again. The problem is I have to kill this guy. Oh, that was so bad. Those misses were just horrible. I put myself in a really bad position here. Um, you have one magic. How much attack does... It has nine might and it gives plus five magic. So that means 14. 14 minus one. So he can kill. So I that is a possibility. All I need to do is kill this guy and then we should be pretty set up. So let's go like this. This doesn't matter too much. The only thing that we have to do is kill that one knight that can escape. And as long as the fire sword doesn't mess me up here, I should be able to, I think. So Brighton, just attack this guy or I don't know. Honest, honestly, do whatever you want. Do 
Chief Mr. Mage. <laughs> Mr. Mage twice, for that matter. Okay. Now, give me Mr. Flame Sword. Now, can you kill? Okay. So as long as two 95% hit, we're okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Also, actually, yeah, he is the uh, the crit multiplier on follow-up attacks. So that was a little more consistent, actually, than, uh, than it even appeared. Okay. We should be fine. Um, yeah, just go there, I guess. Okay. Ooh, that was a little sketchy. I really did not want to lose Karen for no reason there. That would have been most unfortunate. Oh, there is... Excuse me, there is one other thing that we have to do. You can get the said scroll if Karen... Actually, yeah, that was even more important because in order to get the said scroll, Karen has to talk to, um, to said. So... Really useful that she survived there, to be honest. Yeah, Espo, can you heal? Jesus Christ. Almost every single percentage in the FP4 run? Yes. Oh, trust me. As much as I said 290, uh, 95s and that sounded good, I was very nervous as well, for sure. When did the reinforcements start? It's turn 10. What turn is it? Turn four. I actually don't know if there's any reason to break these children out of these, uh... I'm not sure. Can I go home to my papa now? Oh, I can escape if I go down the passage to the right. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, but we may as well do it. I don't know. Alright, with your new and improved fire sword. It's not 100%, it's 50%. Yes, that is extremely accurate. If the arena FFV4 has taught me anything, it's that that is a very accurate statement. Uh, just use the battle axe. We don't really need to be wasting hits of the brave axe. Totally fine. Alright, this chapter's been a bit sketchy, but unless something really goes wrong, we should be pretty well set up to do the rest of it at this point. Mr. Lockpick. I just want to go home. How do I get home? The ways, uh, the ways to the right. Then I'll run that way and won't stop till I'm back home. Thank you. Yeah, and as you can see, Laura did have the scroll on her, but it does not get taken, which is obviously really nice because we don't want to lose our scrolls for no reason. Uh, sure, whatever. Or could escape for the next kind of chapter? Uh, maybe. I'm not really sure. I think there is some reason to have them escape, but I, I can't quite remember. You're probably right. I'm just not sure. Yeah, this Dolshin's been really good. He's been he's been hitting most of his uh, Brave Axe hits. Usually I get the Brave Axe for Dolshin, and then he winds up being like pretty whatever, and I'm kind of like, okay, who cares? But no, our Dolshin's definitely been good. I agree. Which has been nice. The arena FV6 is telling me to think it says you don't go to the arena FV6. <laughs> True. You know what? You know what's a pretty insane arena is actually the arena in this game. I haven't done it a ton, but man, the arena in this game is pretty ridiculous. Okay, who needs healing? Ah, eh, nobody really. We're actually looking pretty good. So what's what's left? These fog of war chapters always confuse me a touch. Okay, not a ton. Oh, it says, if you save the children, you'll you'll receive certain items on Chapter 6. You'll re what is Chapter 6? Oh, I think it's from, like, the houses or something on Chapter 6. I think that's it. With Chapter 7 of FE6, worst mistake of my life? Yes. Yes, Chapter 3 and Chapter 7 of FE6 are something special. Those are certainly uh, certainly chapters in a Fire Emblem game. Can't argue with that. All right, give me the said scroll. Lord said, oh Lord said, after all this time, yes. Wait, Karen, has something happened? Why have you left Celise? Did to find you, my prince? To find me? Oh, for heaven's sake! Did Fee put you up to this, or was it my mother? Lord said, I have some important news for you. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. Well, to tell you the truth, oh gods. Karen, if you have something to tell me, speak uh, quickly and to the point. There's no time for weakness. 
you're right. I regret to inform you that Her Majesty the Queen has... She, um... Mother, no, she can't have. I'm afraid so, my lord. Two months ago. Mother is my mother has passed away. Lord said, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have found out like this, here of all places. Does it matter? I was too late. Father, I wanted them to see each other one last time. Lord said, return to Selyse with me, please. Lady Fee is waiting for you. Fee, how is she? Is she alright? Selyse faces dire times, my lord. Lady Fee can uh, put up a tough front for the others, but when it's uh, just me and her, she, she cries till her eyes dry up. Lord said, with respect, you've done her a great cruelty running away like, like you did. That's just, that's just what everyone in Selyse does. They just run away. Lady Fee isn't much more than a kid, uh, and you've gone and forced the burden of ruling Selyse onto her. That holy blood is in your veins, as in your veins has gone to your head. You're the hero of Four City's legacy. Good for you, <laughs> good for you. But you up and walked out on your mother and your sister. Does that sound like a, what a hero would do? Does that even sound like what a real prince would do? Karen, I, you're right, of course, but but father was the only one who could cure mother's illness. Wait, why? Hold on, why was Lewin the only one that could cure her illness? I couldn't do her uh, any good just waiting at her side. Was I supposed to just sit there and watch her waste away? So I, I went to find father by any means I could. And why are you leading some rebel group in Manster? That's, that's a good question. I heard tell that my father had been here in Manster until half a year ago. I came here to pick up the trail, but it had gone cold. As I investigated, I discovered just how deeply the people of Manster suffered. I couldn't abandon them as my father had abandoned Selyse. Is that right? I apologize, Lord said. I shouldn't have, uh... I should have heard your side of the story before judging you. I'm sorry, Karen, but I need more time. If I can drive that menace Raedric from Manster, I'll gladly return to Selyse. By my estimation, that should only take a half year at most. How do you know that? You're fixing to overthrow that creep, huh? Now that's a plan I can get behind. Count me in. I'll stay here with you. I'm flattered, Karen, but as your prince, I insist you head back to Selyse. I couldn't fight knowing you were endangering yourself. That's a diplomatic way of saying I'd be a burden, but you're right. I would just slow you down. All right, I'll make my way back to Selyse, but only if you promise to come home yourself, Lord said. You have my word, and as proof of my vow, I bestow this upon you. Uh, what is it, a used handkerchief? How <laughs> would you believe this is an heirloom of the Selysian royal family? It's an ancient scroll, penned by my namesake, the Crusader said himself. He imbued it with potent magic that strengthens whoever so much as holds it. I was supposed to give it to my betrothed. Actually, instead I entrusted to you, Karen. Are you really trusting me with something so valuable? I, this is most unexpected. Karen, I did wrong by my mother, and I'm sorry. I owe you much for helping Fee in my absence, and this is a token of my gratitude. I want you to have it. Okay, but I'm only keeping it safe for you. You'll get it back the second you return to Selyse. And the snowy banks of Selyse shall be witness to our next meeting. Be well, Karen. You said it. God's be with you, Lord said. We get the said scroll, which is a very useful scroll. I bet he inherited his good behavior from his father. Yeah. <laughs> So watch a... <laughs> no, you're right on time, little Gabo. Although I'll probably wind up stopping after this chapter, but you can watch you can watch the end of this at least if you'd like. Um so yeah, we get the uh the said scroll, which gives minus 10% HP, which sucks, but plus 10% magic and plus 30% speed. Um said the true Giga Chad. I mean my man is literally invincible. If he would just join our team, we could do literally anything. Uh, okay, let's recruit Asbel. Plus 20 speed? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you don't get to use it much in this game. Do you get to use it at all, actually? I don't remember, but in... Uh, in Fire Emblem 4, it's honestly the, the like best thing in the entire game. Lord said, after all these years, it's me, Asbel. Asbel, what in the world are you doing here? Why aren't you still in Tara? I set off after you uh, just as soon as we got separated. A lot of good that did. I couldn't figure out where you'd gone. For the last half year now, I've been sticking around Manster. You left Tara that quickly, then you spent the last three years looking for me. Of course I did, I promised you as much, remember? With your blade and my magic, we were gonna take Thracia back, together. But you just up and left me behind. That that was awful, heartless of you. Leaf, uh, Lord Leaf. I'm sorry, at that time I didn't have a choice. Tara had been surrounded by the Empire. I had I'd prepared myself for the very real possibility of dying. When I fled, I never imagined I would make it out alive. Uh, I didn't want to drag you down with me, so I left out of it. This guy's the god among Jugdral. Dude, he is, man! Just use Force Eddie, it's so busted. 
Uh, what a load of Pegasus dung. <laughs> what a load of Pegasus dung. We swore to live and die together, didn't we? Or was that the whole, um, or was that whole oath just part of some kid's game? I've spent all these years with those words etched into my mind, and I chose to believe in them as well. Lord Leaf, if only for my sake, you have to liberate Thracia. Make it so that my years of searching meant something. And you recruit Asbel, who is probably the best unit in this entire game. Unfortunately, he does not have Forsetti, but he does have Graf Caliber, which is extremely strong. And also Adept, which is kind of nice, but not as important, of course. Uh, but yeah, Asbel is probably the best unit in this whole game, to be completely honest. He is extremely good. And I think somebody... Yeah, I have a Fire Chum here for him. So you don't have to waste that Graf Caliber. The great thing about Graf Caliber in this game is that because you have a five-use hammer and you get from the very beginning, you can be pretty liberal about um, using it. Right somewhere as to why Lude behaves as he does in Gen 2, but it baffles me. Well, so... At the end of... Um, at the end of Fire Emblem 4, they mention that Lewin... They, there's some like weird cryptic thing about Lewin and about how he's not really the Lewin from the first generation and stuff. And I was really confused. And then in one of my YouTube comments, somebody sort of explained to me that Lewin is supposed to be... Because they, they explained that Lewin is like a dragon, basically. And then I guess Lewin is supposed to be basically the like reanimated corpse of Lewin for the first generation. And he's being sort of controlled by like the the soul of Forseti or like the Forseti dragon which yeah I totally agree with you it's a really interesting idea but I feel like I was pretty blindsided by it I had no idea that was going on um but yeah tell Sa Sage was Kaga's favorite, cl favorite class yeah <laughs> I agree Oh yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Asbel's default speed growth is already like pretty exceptional. Uh, 75%, which means you're talking about over 100%. Although the 10% the speed he gets is actually really nice too, so. Um, okay, does Leaf have a scroll? He does, okay. So let's open this door. You don't have a lockpick, okay. Let's open this door, and then let's go like this. I believe there's, yeah, there's this guy. I always thought this was weird, because this is a female mage. Which is just kind of cool, but it's like one of the only female mages in the game. Or maybe there's some other ones, but I always thought she was kind of unique. But yeah, the whole Luin in Generation 2 of Fire Emblem 4 thing is definitely very interesting. That is a Devil Axe, by the way. Can we get that shit away from me? Holy crap. Did not expect that. Forgot there was a Devil Axe in here. It's somewhere that after Gen 1, he sought on Outman Freud to kill him, but I killed himself, or instead. He then was resurrected by the god he inherits the blood from. You can actually see him battling Manfroy in the title screen if you let the cousins have. Oh, I didn't know that! So the person the person on YouTube had mentioned. Um, shout out to the person who always comments on my YouTube channel. He's great. But he mentioned that he died at Belhalla. I didn't know that he died fighting Manfroy, but that's pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, that's basically what he had said as well that. He basically gets embodied by, yeah, the the god, the god who inherits his blood from, yeah, which is pretty dope. But yeah, it does explain why he's so like weird and standoffish in the second generation. But again, like I, I really wish that they had ex had explored that more. Like it, it just maybe you're supposed to like realize it over the course of the second generation, but it really kind of comes out of nowhere at the very end. When he's like, oh, by the way, I was a, like a reanimated corpse of myself. Anyways, bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Whatever, Lewin. You nut. Okay. So, where are my scrolls at right now? We could potentially get said to help us, but I think I would rather have him go do his business. Iron Blade. Not super useful. As long as we got the said scroll, which of course we did, we should be pretty well set up here. Do, 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 do. Do Fire Emblem 4, I forgot how many times. Just 
Wait, you have to be fire level 4. I forget how many times. There's a lot, so this thing is sort of... Not that well known. Oh, do you, do you like, get something if you beat fire level 4 10 plus times? Does it, like, explain more or something? I, I'm not sure about that. Wait, so you do shoot children? Exactly! See, that's the thing is, I spent, like... I spent like the entire second half of that game. Ooh, a life ring. Uh, should we just give that to Abel? I actually didn't realize that you got a life ring here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give that to Asbel. Holy shit. That's great. Um, and that's the thing, like you, you spend the entire second half of the game being like pissed at this guy for being like a giant jerk. And then it's not like at the end I was suddenly like, oh, I get it, he's not a jerk. I was like, no, like, it still sucks. Um, I don't know about fighting the other side of the door. you be fire level four more times, you get more cutscenes out of the title screen. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty cool. Huh. Why wouldn't the guy just tell him the truth? I know, right? See, that's the thing is like, it feels so weird. I understand the, the soul of Forsetti or whatever was just trying to guide Selif because he knew that Selif and Julia would save the world. But like, how hard would it have been to just explain a little bit to somebody? Like, jeez. Yeah, I don't know. I it's a it's a bit it's a bit weird for sure. Okay, I just don't know if do these guys have rage in here. I really wish I had a torch. Um, I'm gonna put Asbel here. This might be a mistake, I'll admit. But who is my other scrolls at the moment? I want the Hetzel scroll for sure. Oh, Leaf does. I'm dumb. Uh, that's kind of cool, though, that it adds more uh, stuff to the title screen. I did not realize that um, you could see him fighting Manfoy in the in the title screen. That's really cool, actually. Uh, but yeah, definitely when I got to the end of Fire Emblem 4 and Lewin was, like, alluding to that, I was like, what the fuck? Is this guy high? Like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Lewin's off his goddamn rocker. Some parents managed to survive the massacre. Yeah, it is a bit odd. It is one of those things where it's hard to like, some of them they explain, like some of them died here, some of them died there, you know, some of them survived, but. You guaranteed crit of follow-up? Oh yeah, Craft Caliber is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, cause it has 40 crit and then we have, yeah, cause we have three, yeah, you're right. Cause that's like, that's over a hundred crit. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, I think Set is going to take all my kills here. Um, here, let's do this. Let me open the door. Let me give you just any scroll. He just needs a scroll so that he doesn't get crit. And then... Yeah, but the Long Lance gives 18 attack. That's actually a bit more than I was expecting. Um, Let's just rescue you, and then we'll go here, and then we'll... I'm gonna vulnerate. I don't really, like, probably need to, but just in case. Luna was such a jerk in from what... That's a good point, too. Yeah. That's part of it, too, is, like, I already kind of hated Luin, because he's an idiot, and then... So then in Generation 2, it's like, oh, he's just still being an idiot. You know, what a surprise, but... Even magic enemies have low magic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this might be really bad. Why did I do this? I think we're okay, but this is probably much more sketchy than I need to have made this. He really needs to dodge some of those. Oh, God. Okay, good dodge. Mm. That's good. We should be okay. We should be good now. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Enemies just don't have a lot of, like, defense level up. We love that. A lot of, like, magic level up. Um, it is currently about 4 4 p.m. for me. Um, normally on weekdays, actually, I, I start stream usually around 4 to 5, so be around this time that I'd be starting stream on weekdays. On weekends, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I just had some time today, and um, this was really sketchy. I should not have done this, but we got, we got, we got um, lucky. 
But um, yeah, on weekends, I just kind of, I think I'm just going to stream whenever I have some time and feel like it. But yeah, normally around this time is where I start on weekdays, so. The friend for landing in this game is very risky. It definitely is. And this was definitely not a great played sequence of turns for me, but it's okay. Good to know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm hoping to make it more consistent, at least on the weekdays, and basically do every day, um, which is how I used to do it. So I'd love to kill this guy. I don't think anyone has range, though, unfortunately. So I guess, Leaf, if you just kill this guy, yeah, we should be able to make this work. Yes, yes. I mean, if you looked at, like, how consistent that was, he had to dodge, like... I'm trying to think. He had to dodge like two like 14% and then like one of three 40%, which isn't the most unreasonable thing in the world, but it's definitely not something that you want to risk with your main lord if you don't have to, and we certainly didn't have to, so. Not a great play, but probably not like the most insane play in the world, you know? Sleep it. Watch your shoes will be worth it. Well, I'll be glad to have you there, but yeah, for sure, obviously, uh, you know, make sure you're getting getting good sleep. It's important, but... Ooh, move again. Um, do you want to capture this guy? Wouldn't mind doing it if we can, and I think we probably can. Uh, if we hit both... I mean, if we miss, it's probably fine. You look at, and you're like, this guy's in the best unit in the game, and then you realize, yeah, that that's a really good point. And that's what's really interesting. I actually made a, a video um, a while back on my YouTube channel of, like, characters in Fire Emblem that are very... Oh, I forgot there was a Brave Sword here. Oh, that's very good. Um, characters in Fire Emblem games that are very surprising how good they are. And both Othin and Asbel, to me, 100% fill into that category, because... They both look, as you said, like units that are just generic. Like, here's a generic early fighter, here's a generic uh, early mage, but nothing special. But then you realize that, like, holy shit, these two are absolutely ridiculous, you know? Yeah, I really like Fergus. I feel like Fergus always winds up dying for me, which is really sad, but I I'm a big fan of Fergus as well. He's a nice character. Yeah, Brighton's really good too. I really like the Manster arc, even though it's really frustrating because there's so many like units that you normally wouldn't ever touch, but they're really useful, which is kind of cool. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> uh, I do love Rebecca. I'm not, I'm not sure she fits that, but I do love Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca's funny. You'd be on the same level as- yes, exactly, yep. The, Asbel and Othan are both very much products of their game. And- and products of their signature weapons. But yeah. Because in general, like, I'm not a big fan of just, like, early mages. I really like Lu, to be fair. I'm a huge fan of Lu. But I don't really like Earth that much, and I don't really like Loot or Earther. They're okay. Um... So normally I, I'd say that I wouldn't be a huge fan of, uh... A unit like Asvel, but I mean, he's just so good. Graph Caliber is just so busted. It's like the busted unit in the game is Graph Caliber, not Asvel, you know? Please defend Nephany. Are you talking about Path of Radiance Nephany or Radiant Dawn Nephany? I'm pretty middling on both, to be honest, but I do really like Nephany. Those thighs, man. Ugh. But, um, yeah, I think she's, uh,. She's pretty good in Radiant Dawn. Well, she she has her niche in Radiant Dawn, I'll say that. But his set have 26 HP? I don't know, man, but he is he is frail. Thankfully nothing can ever hit him, so it's okay, but. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Early recruit combined with Graph Caliber just being. The ability to have like a point and click thing like Graph Caliber where it's like, I want that person to die, I want this person to die. 
to win both games. Yeah, Nephany is definitely one of those uh, those units that I really like as well. You know, I have a kind of I don't know. I have a sort of funny Nephany story. When I um when I first started playing Fire Emblem, like I said before, my the first game I ever played was uh, Path of Radiance, and I played it with me and my brother. And Nephany and Path of Radiance obviously comes with no weapons, and we didn't know how to look at like what weapons characters used. And Nephany starts, I think, like, E with lances. So it took us longer than I care to admit to figure out what the hell Nephany was supposed to be using. We were, like, pretty convinced that Nephany just couldn't use a weapon for a long time. So at one point in my life, I thought Nephany was a literally useless unit, but thankfully I eventually figured out what weapon to give her. Uh, she benefits, benefits from tier 3, yeah. Nephany also has kind of a, a nice little niche in Radiant Dawn in that she's available for like all of part 2, which is really nice. Pretty much became my MVP, that run is so cursed. <laughs> Though, like Astrid and Laura were in my top 5. That Astrid being in your top 5 is very cursed, yes. I remember grinding Astrid a bit. Man, I like Astrid a lot in Path of Radiance. I was really excited for her in Radiant Dawn when that came out, but uh, she is something else. Yeah, I mean, she still has Paragon. That's something, at least. Chapter 5, Mother and Daughter. Alright, this is... Uh, yeah, it's getting out about 4 for me. This is where I'm going to end the stream uh, for today. So... Um, as always, I really appreciate everybody for showing up. This has been a lot of fun. Honestly, you guys, everyone that's here today, I, I just want to say I really appreciate it. Uh, like, I, you know, as you know, I haven't streamed in quite some time, but seriously, being able to interact with, with everybody and talk about Fire Emblem is, it's so much more fun than just recording by myself. So this, this has been really great, but yeah, no death today, which is very surprising considering we made some, uh, some interesting choices in, in the previous two chapters, but we're okay for the time being. Um, of all the units, are they nerfed for the most? Yeah, I actually have another video on YouTube where I, I talk about like units that got nerfed and like buffed the most between the games. And um, uh, yeah, Ast Astrid is definitely up there as uh, most nerfed, but but yeah, so anyways, everybody, um, I will be back. Uh, what day is it? Oh, tomorrow, actually, Monday, um, actually, around this time, somewhere between four and five. Um, and we'll keep going with this game. So if you can make it great, if you can't, uh, the VOD will be available and everything is uploaded to my YouTube channel, uh, which is available. You can uh, get the link down below if you're curious about that. But, um, yeah, Mia, Mia, I think is the most buffed or actually Har is probably the most buffed. I got to remember that list, but Mia is definitely up there. Mia is awesome in, uh, in Radiant Dawn. Um. So yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching again, and I will see you next time. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day.